What would you say, Ken, to those who have questions about the process? Um, where can they go? Where can they get information? What should they do if they, if they want to know more? Well, I know for Montgomery County and I think for other counties as well, we're trying to get information out there. Um, we, we have instructional videos on our, our on our website that people can go to to actually see how that process works. It's, it's not some mysterious, <laughs> um, you know, dark room. There, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, I, to some degree, I think it's good that there's more interest in this now, but I just hope that people will take the time to actually educate themselves and get the facts about uh, how the elections are actually run, how ballots are handled, um, and not look for uh, fictitious documentaries that, that will uh, give a, a different slant to things. It's very different than how it's run in Montgomery County, and I'm sure <laughs> in York as well. So. Um, I would just add uh, one of the things that we do in York is, especially for Election Day, we engage our Office of Emergency Management, our Sheriff's Department, and our District Attorney's Office. We actually have an emergency action plan that we put in place, kind of that's the pregame. Mm -hmm. uh, but certainly on Election Day, all of these county agencies are working together to ensure a positive voter experience. And uh, much like Montgomery County, we have frequently asked questions on our website. We have videos out there. Um, certainly our staff are always available to answer phone calls and emails regarding the process. And